Hello, everyone. This is uh, Dr. Jeffrey Hedrick. I'm the instructor for MassCom uh, 4341 PR campaigns. But I've been, for this session, I've invited students from my radio production class and a few past uh, members that have taken the PR campaigns class before to be involved in this session. It's an experiment. I'm, tr I'm going to try to record this session to help them through and to understand what I think might be the most complicated or more difficult assignments in the PR campaigns class, and that will be the SWOT analysis. So this is the MP4 that is going to accompany and be in the SWOT analysis assignment, which is one of the bigger assignments. And I'm gonna go ahead and start by putting this in context where you should be about a third of the way through the semester if you're watching this video. And you should have already been introduced to what the definition of public relations is, which is uh, establishing and maintaining a mutually beneficial relationships between the client and the public on whom its success or failure depends. A little complicated, but and you should also be aware and have studied PR history. You should know the difference uh, between old public relations and modern public relations. And obviously, we're in the era of modern public relations, which is two-way public relations. And it's public relations by two-way, meaning it's feedback. Back in the day, they used to say that uh, public relations with the railroads, that we had Vanderbilt saying, public be damned because he didn't really care about what the public thought. And when we're in two-way public relations, we care and we listen. We listen to the feedback and we adapt our message accordingly. And it's never more important than in the PR campaigns class, where you're trying to motivate and change somebody's public opinion or something, and you're doing it strategically over time to a certain end or objective or outcome. If that makes sense to all of you, the thing, uh, other thing that you should have been introduced to, to in this class is the PR process. The PR process is rate, uh, race or rope. You say race or rope, and uh, you're saying, huh, Dr. Hedrick, that sounds a little familiar, but uh, refresh my memory. So I'm gonna share the screen with you. And this is a whiteboard, the four-step PR process, research, action, communication, evaluation, and research, objectives, programming, and evaluation. Those are the two acronyms for the four-step process. And incidentally, in your book, uh, that uh, Strategic Public Relations, that's chapter 10, chapter 11, chapter 12, and chapter 13. That's what those stand for. Okay, it's a four-step PR process, and when you've got a PR campaign, you try to uh, go through these four steps, and you make a PowerPoint, and you make a pitch to your client. So right here and here, you're in the planning phase, and research, part, uh, an integral part of research is analysis of the situation. One type of analysis is a SWOT, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. And right here is depicted the four lists, a strengths list, the weaknesses, the opportunities, and the threats. And I'm hoping right now that your mind, you're getting an epiphany, that you understand, oh, I know what squat means now. And this is starting to make a little bit of a sense because you got a situation, you identify your client organization, you identify your problem or challenge, then you do what they call an environmental scan, which is a SWOT analysis. Environmental scan is where you take a look at what's going on both internally and externally, and you identify your target audiences. Remember, the definition of public relations is establishing and maintaining the mutually beneficial relationships between the client or organization and the publics upon the target audiences, upon whom its success or failure depends. Okay, so that's a SWOT PR process for you. And uh, see, I got four, I'm actually doing four PowerPoints uh, today. 
I mean, up for Zoom sessions. So let's, let's go back here. And uh, so you establish the goals and objectives. And it, incidentally, all this is in unit seven of your canvas. I'm putting all this there and you'll see it in a minute. The establishing of the goals and objectives. Let's pretend we're a college and we're trying to manage public opinion about something that in favor of recruitment, improving numbers, you name it. The Upstate College wants to be known for its quality education and accessibility in terms of costs and standards. The goal, recreate their image to that of a four year institution to recruit more students, to generate new support donors. Could be, you never know. And uh, objective, I'm always gonna be checking on here to see if anybody else is coming into this meeting. Uh, goal for high school students in the three county area to have a effect on the awareness of the high schools, to have an effect on acceptance, to affect an action, and to have an effect on the action. It might be perceivable. That takes care of that one. Now an organization analysis, organizational analysis. This is gonna be part of your SWOT analysis this is the prose, where you actually write something. It's up, the Upstate College, a private liberal arts college with 2,000 students, primarily commuters and residents within a 100 mile radius. So you're already talking about uh, giving a snapshot. And about half the graduates went in the workplace, half transferred to four-year colleges and universities. Obviously, they're talking about a community college here who's thinking about transitioning or attracting more four-year students. College has a news bureau, marketing office with one person staff, freelancers, et cetera. Oversees a website, recently ventured in social media presence. This is not uncommon at all in this day and age. And we're interested in the public perception. They seek a reputation to be beneficial, inexpensive, practical, essential ingredient of the educational mix in this part of the state. The external environment, the, re the relative non-competitive environment in recent years, and da 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 da, is all that. And they've lost several upstate. Uh, city has lost several major employers. Da, 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 da. Sound familiar? Maybe this is COVID-19 crisis and that things are going down, but that's an organizational analysis there. Okay, now, now that we've done the organizational analysis, let's go to the PowerPoint. I got a PowerPoint that I've set up for this and let's go full screen with it. And let's try to move this down. There we go, that'll, that'll be enough. So now if, the, if you were in the classroom with me, I'd be showing you the Canvas homepage. And the Canvas homepage for 4341 PR campaigns, this is it. You're accessing the site. And as you see, there's a lot of these links up here and everything. And, and uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna very quickly go, go through these slides. This is your textbook, Strategic Public Relations. Of course, relies, in, it's an audience-centered approach. Research effectively, chapter six. This is to let all of you know that if you're having problems or issues understanding anything that I'm telling you, go to chapter six in your textbook, Strategic Public Relations. It's an ebook that we've already gained access to. What is research? Careful and systematic study, investigation, collection of data for the purpose of knowing, describing, and understanding. It's about knowing and understanding, and it must be based on best practices and social science research principles. And incidentally, most good research is not inexpensive. It costs money. Investment of time and energy, if nothing else. Research is done all the time. Formative development, research conducted before and during the PR planning. Remember that research process that I was showing you in the early stages. R stands for research and race or rope. Monitoring, iterative, conducted a significant stage of the program. Evaluative, it's usually toward the end. The E stands for evaluation in both race and rope. Research that tells you how well you planned and what you learned. How efficient your campaign was, for instance. Client will want to see ROI. Mr. London, you know what ROI stands for? Um, not right off. <laughs> it's it's very it's a business, very business oriented. Return of investment. 
Yeah, very good. Return on investment, man. They want, it's about showing me the money. What happened with my money? What good was it? So informally, the environmental scans, ongoing research methods that feeds information in organization, continually monitors trans publics. That's what environmental scans are. Sometimes you do a literature review. Sometimes you go mystery shopping, everything else. And then there's this thing called the SWOT analysis. And you say, what is a SWOT analysis? Here's a whiteboard from our classroom if you were doing face-to-face. -face. It's a strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Environmental scan. Now, if we were also in the class, up in the front next to this whiteboard, Dr. Hedrick would have these color-coded markers. There were blue for strengths, black for weaknesses, green for, for uh, opportunities, and T for threats. For this exercise, recall that a good SWOT analysis takes research, is an environmental scan, is essentially a type of situation analysis, is done early in the PR process. Oops. Okay, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. Again, color coded. Now, for our client for this, our client that we're going to choose for this is TikTok. They have approached you for assistance in improving their tarnished image. You must perform a SWOT analysis in order to strategically understand the existing situation and what might be done from a public relations perspective. Tick stock strengths. Anybody? They reach over 150 markets in 75 languages. It's video oriented, it accompanies lick sync and comedy. Most downloaded app, believe it or not. Since October 2018, they took that over. Two billion downloads. Is available in both Apple, a Mac, Apple on Mac and uh, iPad and Android as iPhone. And Android, for, mo for in other words, are mostly going for the smartphone people. And most of these videos are to capture little short snippets of situations. And um, a lot of it talks involve dancing. The favorite celebrities include Fallon, Jimmy Fallon, Tony Hawk. You all know who Tony Hawk is? Famous skateboarder? Yeah, skateboarder. Yeah. Yeah. Le yeah. Jennifer Lopez, Jessica Alba, Will Smith, Justin Bieber. These are trendsetters. So it's, it's, it's nice to have them on your side. People follow the celebrities. Weaknesses, they have no control over international countries. The reputation of China, China and it's Chinese owned. It's still subject to Chinese censorship restrictions. That's definitely a weakness. Cannot control the content posted by the users without exercising editorial control. And incidentally, in an internet market, if you exercise internet control, then you assume the liability for the content that's posted and you can be sued. So naturally they don't want to exercise edi editorial control. Okay, strengths and weaknesses were pre-existing and consider internal factors the most. Still with us? Opportunities. Yep. This is a list I'm making that Dr. Hedder made has only been in existence since 2016. It's got room for growth. Microsoft is interested. They're talking about buying it out. They have signed a partnership agreement with NFL in the United States. And they're very popular among iPhone users, 52%. In the US, if you got an iPhone, you probably got TikTok on it. And there's significant room for growth in American populations, only 80 million of the 2 billion downloads worldwide. They're threats. The number one threat, what do you think it is? Donald Trump, US president. Yeah. Yeah, you talk about downloading, 45 days. Yeah, yeah, the United States security ban of the 80 million downloads he's going to institute it in 45 days if the U.S. company doesn't buy it out. Negative perceptions from unpopular videos and perception that it is addic addictive, like video games. And privacy concerns, legal issues, and the fact that it's often used for cyberbullying. The opportunities and threats are future possibilities and consider external factors the most. As PR Keynes campaigns, or things that you make public and, you're, and they go outside, most of it's outside, to try to change public opinion. 
So here's, here's what the SWOT analysis assignment looks like on your uh, uh, MCOM 4341 page. And there's the bottom of it just to show its strengths and weaknesses. And I have some possible climate, uh, clients for you to use. And I think that is the end. And we stop. So we've stopped, we've stopped that. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we're still in the Zoom meeting. We stopped the sharing. And hopefully you're, you're both still there, right? Let's go, let's go to, let's go and, uh, yeah, it's not this one I want, it's this one I want. Course modules. And let's go ahead to the screen sharing. Let's go back to the screen sharing. Share. Okay, I'm back on the screen share. And here we go. We're in the modules of 4341. We skip down here a ways and we go get out. That's why I say it's part with the semester, unit seven. There's the research, analyzing the organizations. The whiteboard that I showed you where it fits in the process. Remember they had those four areas and the race and the rope on it. That, the SWOT exercise PowerPoint that I just showed you right there, okay? Example of an in-class exercise. Oh, I wonder what that could be. This is what it might look like if you were in the class and we're going up and writing on the board, although the colors are a little bit different in this one because it's from a previous semester. Uh, this is for the film and theater program and getting it launched. And the strengths and weakness of well-rounded program, Nate Parker's funding and cloud, connections, weakness, course overlaps, time consuming, location, lack of community support, opportunity, Promo, promo, networking, uh, LACA, remember these were students that put these down, and ETBU, uh, Drama and Theater Program, and SAC COC, that's uh, accreditation. So that's what the students thought when the students were getting together and, uh, and uh, they thought, oh, That's what they did. That's what they came up with. And somebody's trying to call me, and they might be trying to call me to get in on this uh, extra credit opportunity. But I'm going to let it ring. The assignment two is a SWOT analysis, right here. Let's go to it. Remember how I said that this was going to be here for you. And I want to. What I want to do right away. I just hung up on somebody. Sorry about that. Uh, is I want you to get in the mentality of being a uh, PR person, a practitioner. So, I, so I've got this video that I've created for you. And that video, not created, it's actually available on YouTube. And I'm gonna play a minute or two of it right here. Come on. I'm Natalie Hastings, and I'm a strategic communications consultant located in Cincinnati, Ohio. In my role as a strategic communications consultant, I help individual clients tell their stories, mostly on an external basis. So that looks different depending on the client, but it involves a lot of media relations, social media and social media strategy, sometimes content strategy, developing content for the web, and working on key messages. So helping people figure out exactly what they want to say, how they want to say it, and to whom they want to communicate it. Hey, let me put them in a holding frame. Can you just, can you text me anytime? Yeah, I have somebody from Cincinnati who heard this. Oh, okay. When I'm approached by a client about working together, one of the first things that I ask is, what is your objective for the communication? Oftentimes, especially if you're working with a small business that maybe doesn't have a full marketing team, they'll just approach you about wanting to be in the news, but they may not know why. Hey, let me put them in a holding frame. Can you just, can you text me anytime? Yeah, I have somebody from Cincinnati. So you all can watch the rest of it. Okay, but that gives you an idea of what a PR specialist does. A PR person goes around and they interact with their client, try to figure out the situation, 
And remember, environmental scan is what comes after this, and that's where the SWOT analysis fits in a little later on in this. Now, TikTok. TikTok, uh, oh my gosh, uh, I think uh, TikTok is a Chinese company. And I actually had, if you do a search on TikTok and the Google, you'll see the Chinese characters come up and they're owned by a company called ByteDance that's Chinese. And this is a make your day real videos. I think it's from, I think the range of the time is from three seconds to 60 seconds, if I'm not, not mistaken. Okay. So that takes care of the PR specialist thing and uh and getting you introduced to what TikTok was and it's asking me if i want to stop the screen sharing no not just yet now foundational analysis remember where i was showing you the examples here and i was uh pretending to be upstate college well there's there's two different examples i'm going to show you one of them's online and one of them is your own wiley college the online one is right here university of wisconsin river falls now they have done a foundational analysis and part of their strategic plan in the communication. And you can see here, it's an environmental scan, the SWOT analysis, and uh, they survey people and they went in and to check and the SWOT analysis and they did all that. And that was a, a part of their beginning of their pathway to distinction that they were doing, okay? Now, uh, other thing, I want to exit the slideshow, yes. Okay, the slideshow's out. That's where the black screen was. I was wondering uh, why, why something wasn't showing up. Okay, there's the foundational. Now, here's another one that some of you may be familiar with. Using the SWOT analysis, table and design, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats again. Guess where this is taken from? Some of you may be aware of this or some of you may not be aware of this. This was actually in the University of Wisconsin-Madison, their parks and visions, where they were talking about strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats in updating and creating their park system. Maybe some of you are familiar with Parks and Recreation. I love that show. It's up there. They always go through little problems that they have there. And there's a Madison Parks and Recreation the Film and Theater. I've showed you all this. The only thing that's really left to show you is right here. And this is Transforming Wiley College. This Transforming Wiley College and part of their strategic plan, this is what I kind of expect the format of your submission to be a little bit like. Not that first page. But this is organizational analysis right here. The pros at the beginning. Okay, now, and then there's a list. For, for you students, Wiley College enjoys favorable press. The Great Debaters movie is called Significant Notoriety. The college requires excellent, afford, more affordable than most private colleges, small size of attractive, full-time faculty teach most classes, committed to service, cultural diversity, and everything else. That, this is all things that the college came up with. What are the weaknesses? Anybody want to read any of those? You agree with any of them? Mr. London or Mr. White? That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. A Insufficient lot. faculty with terminal degrees. So it's down there away. So heck, they hid that. <laughs> Small programs are underfunded. Yeah, we're, we're lacking for funding. I'll, I'll go along with that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sigh. <laughs> Opportuni right. Opportunities. Opportunities. They're, they. They, need, they have the opportunity to solidify things and create new partnerships and economic recession, uh, focus on the STEM and work with that. And HBCU, they got quite a bit of opportunities here. Threats, right? reduce funding to higher education poses a major threat. Remember, this is a 2011 study that was done right after the recession of 2008. And <clears throat> most schools were seeing a decline in their funding from the federal government. Was this so, done by one person? Huh? 
Was this? Oh, several people. Several people did this strategic plan for the college. Okay. It was a committee. Okay. That's why there's so many of them here. That's a great question. That's a great question. Uh, I don't expect you to come up with so many. But I do expect you to come up with three or four or five for each one. Okay. And, uh, and they tell me it's run I'm running out of time, which is telling me I probably spent about 30 minutes on this uh, example. So let's go over here and I'm gonna close that off because I don't have the premium account. Premium account, I'd be able to go for more than, uh, it's 30 minutes and at 40 minutes it shuts you down. So here's uh, the thing here, the questions for analyzing the organizational analysis, the final product example, this is, that's what I just showed you, was the, uh, the link to it, uh, Wiley College one. There's a link to the example that's online of River Falls. I'll give you as your possible client, you can do the MassCom Club, PRSSA, uh, Nate Parker Film and Theater Program, or the KBWC Campus Radio Station. And pretend that one of those three is a client. You need to focus on the research, you need to make a small sample and report your findings, and remember, remember, remember that, and it's a file upload that I expect from you pdf.doc or docx and it's for everybody and the absolute last day i'm going to take it it's the last day of classes november 17th with some deduction but uh here is a critical thinking weighted outcome 20 points for exceeds expectation writing and uh, and incidentally the organizational analysis is is going to be more on the writing and editing part here and the critical thinking the research part, where it says research right here, research and diversity, the strengths and strengths weighted outcome, to get to 15, you're gonna have to have four or five. If you have maybe four, if you have three or four, you might be in here. If you have three, you'll be there. Two, you'll be there, zero to one there, if you just didn't try. You didn't give it the good old college try. The same thing for the other lists. Research and diversity weaknesses, the research and diversity opportunities, and the research and diversity threats. 15 points each. And that whole Shamil, 2020, 15, 15, 15, and 15, adds up to 100 points. And that is how this assignment will be graded. Do either of you have any questions about the SWOT analysis? This uh, this recording is you going to have it on uh, online. That's right. I'm uh, posting it online as an MP4 file in Unit Seven. Okay. So, so I it'll tie it all together for you. Okay. Yes, and Mr. Lundman, both in my uh, uh, radio production class, which again extra credit for attending this session, and he's in the PR campaigns class. Okay. Now I can click on what they find it. It's in Unit Seven. Unit seven, okay. It's in modules, modules area, unit seven, and it's an MP4 file. Okay, got you. That I will identify. All right, unit seven. Okay, and then uh, after, after you've watched it, you tell all your, your classmates what they're missing out on. Okay. Okay, it should be very useful in tying okay. it all together. What, what I, I, sorry I interrupted you, Mr. White. No, you're okay, you're okay. Um, I was gonna ask if you could run over the race and rope method real quick again. Here, the race and rope is research, action, uh -huh. communication, and evaluation. Research. It's a four-step process, and there are four chapters in your book on that, chapter 10, 11, 12, and 13. And there's some overlap on all, all four of those, but the SWOT analysis is primarily uh, uh, anchored in the research. The environmental scan is part of the research that you do at the beginning and the situation analysis when you're trying to figure out what would be the best strategies uh, and come up with the right objectives reasonable objectives attainable objectives remember you want something to be attainable but also for a pr campaign you want something that will be measurable because right. if it's measurable you aren't going to be able to show your client the roi return on investment. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. Any other questions for you? 
before I let you go. Mm -mm. That's about it. You think this was useful and uh, the class is going to enjoy it? Yes, I think they they need to take advantage of it. Yes, they stuff. should. I'm trying. I'm trying to. That's what. That's my whole objective behind all of this. Or, or is to make these uh, help people tie things together with these lectures and tutorials and videos and you name it. And I'm going to go ahead and end this session. Thank you both for joining me. It's been a pleasure having you. All right. Yes. See you, Dr. Hendrick. Okay. Bye.